it so I have to put it on R1 right click and paste and so there's our wages so I'm this time I'm gonna call it wages one and then let's make a wages two now note that when I hit enter on wages two it automatically updated my table because it's it's because I put something in right next to the table and so Excel saying hey you probably want to add that to the table and we do so that's that's fine so now we're gonna say I'm just gonna do a little formula here and I'm just gonna say this equals the one to the to the left of it times 1.1 so we're gonna add 10% to it so 100% plus 10% just to get a similar but different data set and so if I hit enter Excel guesses that we want to do that to every uh, line and we do so good job Excel thank you we appreciate the help and uh, looking out for us they're always thinking thinking ahead to what we're what we need like a good staff member or something so then if I select uh, these two then let's do it let's just copy the data set I'll just copy the entire thing then we can then insert so I'm gonna to go to insert and then I'm gonna to go to the charts and the histogram here and we want the box and whiskers so there's our two box and whiskers now that have been placed side by side so that's just the you know that could, again just could give us a different kind of visualization let's do the same kind of formatting we did with it so I probably don't need this one down here right I can remove that I can I can say let's go into the side part and let's say that we're gonna bring it back up to 50 so I'm gonna bring it back up to uh, the minimum of let's say 55,000 I said this time that's what I had in my example and then we'll keep the top let's make the top like 95,000 95,000 so it zooms in a bit more so that looks good and so I can close that I'll make this maybe a little wider if I hit the drop down uh, the the axis titles uh, may, maybe I need I can just say let's get rid of this axis and this one I'm gonna just call it wages okay and then the chart title I don't I may not need because I have it right there the data labels those are kind of neat maybe to have although they're kind of convoluted <laughs> but and then the legend here here we kind of need a legend right because now we have two data sets so now I have to say that this is data set one in the blue and data set two in uh, the orange now if you if you go into the options of the legend you could put it on the right left on the bottom and so on but now that's what a legend is right that's when you need the legend clearly we don't need a legend if we only had one uh, one of these items in place so it's too wide we'll put it like right there yeah all right so in any case that's so that and, and if I if I select on on the data by the way and we or if we go into our data selection now you'll note that I have now two sets of data so on the same tr graph so notice I did that by selecting the two sets of data but I could have if I added the data and I wanted to add it to the same graph like if I didn't have you know this data set and I only had this data set well then then I could say okay now I've added this other column I already made my graph instead of deleting the graph and then selecting both columns or maybe these columns weren't next to each other or something like that I can add another data set and I'm gonna say this is you know uh, wages wages two that we'll have here and we'll say that this comes from this data and by the way you, there are shortcuts like if I put my cursor up top here and then I hold down uh, uh, control shift and the down arrow just to show that again it's a little bit faster right so like like if you get fast at this because this data set could be quite long so when you like go like this and you got to select the entire thing it could be kind of tedious if it's in a table format you can put your cursor right at the top so it looks like that arrow and then select it and so now it's selecting just that data you see the the, the dancing answer grooving right there and then if you 
uh, if you put your cursor on the first one and you hold down control shift and then down arrow control shift down arrow it takes you to the bottom and highlights to the last number if you have blank spaces in the data by the way which is a problem you don't really want blank spaces in the data but if you did then then you might have to hit the down arrow you know like a couple times and then uh, when you want to go back up you can you can select control and the backspace not delete but the backspace and that'll take you back up to the top so that so that when you hit enter you're going to be at you know the top of the of the item here and that'll also help you to kind of see what you're looking at if you were in a formula so we'll try to touch on that from time to time those little tricks but there's the there's the uh uh the two side by side so in future presentations, we're going to be continuing on with this worksheet and we'll analyze some of the components of this box plot and then we'll compare it to like a histogram of the same data.